Welcome to the first ever Sweet Base Camp. I cannot wait to tell us everything we're doing, everything that's happening in this community. Thank you again for being here. You may not know this. In some time, you're going to look back to this moment and say, I was there. I'm so glad I was there. This is going to be a historical moment for this entire industry. So you do not want to miss this. Let's, let's set the stage. Let's talk about why we are all here. Not just here in terms of Sweet Base Camp. Why are we in this industry? What is it you're looking for? Are you a builder? Let me show, see a show of hands. Builders here? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for building. Whether you're building on Sweet today, or we'll be building on Sweet tomorrow, or you're building on other chains, that's OK. It's OK. You don't have to confess just yet. Uh, your, your mind will be changed. But I applaud you. Thank you so much for being part of this industry. What about everybody else? If you're not a builder, let's, uh, let's see uh, some examples. Who wants to volunteer? Why are you here? DJ. All right. Everyone else is kind of a DJ. If you're not a DJ, you're not here. Right? This is really, really you know, kind of nutty um, what we do here. I'm sure you're looking for Alpha. Uh, you come to the right place as well. But let's set the stage again. Why we're here. What are we trying to accomplish? And that's going to be what you hear about for the next 20 some minutes. So let's talk about one thing that's very, very important to every one of us. And it's an underlying social trend that is driving this innovative industry. Trust. We're at this point in time where there's a trust deficit. We, well, all the numbers you've seen, you have seen the survey, you've seen the news article, you've seen the behavior changes of everyone. People don't trust institutions as much as they used to trust before. At the same time, we have massive, massive centralized entities, massive companies that has more power than some nation states. So this is a confluence of a couple interesting situations, max centralization, mass distrust in centralization. Guess what happens throughout the history? It changes the other direction. So we're not just here because there's, you know, fun stuff to be, do to be doing in this web stream. It sure is, well, it is fun. You're not just here because it's easy. It certainly is not easy. We're actually trying to change something much, much bigger. And we're trying to support the social change that we're facing today. Consumer demand control and self-expression. You've seen this all the time, especially the younger generation. They just don't want to buy off the shelf. They want to be unique. They want to be different. They want things that's bespoke to them. And what about developers? If you're a builder, you're a creator of art, you're a creator of our assets, you're a creator of our software, you want to have control. You don't want to be just a small part of a bigger machine. You are you. You're putting efforts to build your dream. Why should somebody else policy changes? There are mistakes in their underlying infrastructure they build. Whatever they do. Or maybe because human greed corrupts. If I have control, I'm going to change whatever you're depending on to better suit me. If you're a builder, why would that happen to you? Why would you want that to happen? So builders and consumers all want control. They all want to be themselves. They want to drive their, their future themselves. So that's why we're here. The role of decentralized application is not yet clear. People talk about all the time. Do you understand decentralization? Can anybody sort of here say, stand up, say, I understand decentralization fully. I know exactly what that means. Is it about ownership? Is it about control? Is it about trust? It's about all that. The role of decentralization has a huge role to play for the future. We are going to break down the silo. This is part of who we are. Consumers want to be themselves. Builders want yourself. 
and consumers, hey, you know, what is about me? Is wherever I go, what servers I use, I'm still me. That is very different from what we have today. If you're entering into any kind of service, any product, anything you use, you sort of rebuild yourself again, over and over and over and over. Right? You use Instagram, you use TikTok, you use Twitter, X, whatever it's called these days. Uh, well, you use a bank. You're rebuilding yourself over and over and over. There's duplication, right? There's redundancy. You're not really taking a being who you are wherever you go. The stage, the context is defined for you. You're really not yourself. And that is very, very different from what we want to be, right? We didn't spend all this effort to build out who you are, your, your identity, your history, everything you accomplish, everything you own, just so you have to rebuild it over and over again and be different. And that is the fundamental movement beyond, behind Web3. That is what it's about. That's what people talk about metaverse. You have heard about it in this last cycle, right, when it was all buzzy. But people miss the point. Metaverse is not all that science fiction stuff where, you know, they, like, look cool, it's AR, VR. It's about you and yourself, your identity, your history, everything you do, everything you want, everything you have done being with you at all time. You may look different. Some of the things may function somewhat differently, but that's what's about, but you're still who you are. So we're gonna talk about Sui. Let's bring back the attention on Sui a little bit. We think about Sui as the universal coordination layer. And what does that mean? Well, let's discuss it. Let's discuss it. Let's discover what that's about. Because you're here because you're excited about Sui, you want to learn about Sui. We're not going to go jump up and down and say we're parallel this and we're like doing this and that, right? Sui is the universal coordination layer that's going to power the future that we're just going to be talking about and going to show you. First, you heard about tokens. I'm sure you've heard about tokens. Mint tokens, mint coins, whatever coins, whatever. Bitcoin is a token, all these things are tokens. But think about it, token is skin deep. Tokens tend to be very, very simple. Token doesn't capture a lot, that much information on chain. If you think about, you know, if you're playing a Web3 game, you own something that's an NFT, that's actually kind of a token. It's ownership of underlying assets that actually live off chain. Right, you know about this, ERC721, all these standard, all these things, it's sort of like a little bit is on-chain, but mostly off-chain. That's token, that's very 2D, that's represent ownership of an underlying asset. But Sui, you heard about, it's all about objects. And why is this very, very different? Why do we, you know, to be frank, right, took a lot of pain, a lot of thinking to design that fundamentally different going from token to object. Well, because why are we putting all that effort uh, to design a scalar of on-chain storage to be able to build token objects? Because objects captures much, much more than tokens. Right. If you're a builder of Suite, you know this, right? Everything's on-chain. Your history of the underlying objects can be on-chain. That represents assets. Well, if I'm using, I'm playing this game, right, MMORPG, you're familiar with it, like how many, per, what percentage of the world now play games? Where is community, the concept of community come from? Games, right? This person here that owns that magic sword that actually took down the boss, that is worth a lot more than the other one. They're not identical. History, providence, all these things matters. So your assets are much more complex than what the token can represent. So that's one very, very important element just want you to keep in mind. So we're going to introduce the concept intelligent objects, intelligent assets. So you add the next element to it. That's rules. If you're creating something, your builder, your creator, you create something, you want to say, well, here's the rules that govern the asset that I built. You're familiar with royalty payment for secondary sales. Remember the, all the controversy about marketplace decide, decide to stop dropping? 
royalty points. That is royalty payments. That's an example of integrity is broken because human greed. You're no longer aligned with the creator at that moment, right? So rules should be enforced by software that cannot be circumvented. You're the builder, you create the objects, you create the asset, you set, lay down the rules, it better be observed. Nothing should change it. So that is the intelligence part that comes into play. So this is not a dumb asset, you would just pass it wrong. These are composable and self-enforcing objects and assets. And then you add the element of trust. You think about trust. Remember, you're trusting code, not human. So ultimately, this is what Web3 is about. This intermediation, this intermediary, this third party, the rent seeker, the human greed, the getting in the way, the corrupt things, assets. This is how you build integrity into assets. So think about this, remember this, trust code, not human. And that is coordination. Remember, three is the universal coordination. What does that mean? Well, humans have been coordinating forever. Buying and selling things is a form of coordination. You buy something from someone because you know them, they tr you trust them, their reputation is good. Well, that is, what about software? If you're interacting with software, do you trust them? Can you, is it transparent? Is it everything on chain? Can you be audited? Can you ensure everything works as you expect it to? So that is extending this concept we have learned and come to realize and be doing every day in our life to human and software interaction, and then pretty soon, software and software interaction. This is the future where, kind of now, there's going to be more and more software that behaving or taking care of your asset and doing things on your behalf. So human to human coordination, human software coordination, software to software coordination. Do you want to trust that coordination to, well, software that's half decentralized, but mostly centralized, or a little bit or mostly centralized, but still rely on that centralized entity. And you know what happens when you rely on centralized entity. Those are run by humans. And with the human greed come into play, they're going to change what they want. And all of a sudden, we go back to the centralized world. So that is the essence of Web3. And that is the essence of 3. We're the first universal coordination layer. We're not just here to build a blockchain. We're not just here to build decentralized software, whatever that makes. We're here to reimagine human and software interaction. That is fundamentally what we're doing today. That's the fundamentally what is Web3 is about. This is much, much bigger than what well, you can talk about, what the asset class of crypto, the size of it, can we grow to 5 trillion? 10 trillion, 20 trillion. This is fundamentally changing our relationship with everything we own, with software that's going to come to dominate everything in the very near future. We are here for something much, much, much bigger. The rest of the world may not realize that, but you're here. This is the real alpha. This is the mission. What we're aiming for is far bigger than anything that has come to this space before. And I'm so glad you're here. I'm so happy to be sharing this idea with you. We are part of a future. This is only truly possible on Sweet. This may change, but you are in the right place. Thank you so much for building on Sweet. Our journey has really, really just started. Um, you hear the saying over and over again, everywhere you go, the journey is only 1% completed. I don't know if we're even 1%. We've only just started. This kind of future hasn't existed yet, and we are here to define it together. Once again, thank you so much for being here today. Welcome to 3Basecamp. <laughs>